Anthony Davis had 37 points and 10 rebounds, LeBron James added 15 points and 12 assists, and the Los Angeles Lakers rolled to a 126-114 victory over Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets on Friday night in Game 1 of the Western Conference Final. Slow starters in the previous two rounds, the top-seeded Lakers put this one away in a hurry, opening a double-digit lead in the first half that they easily extended in the third quarter. Contavious Caldwell Pope scored 18 points, and White Howard rejoined the rotation with 13 in a powerful return to the conference final for the Lakers, who hadn't been to the NBA's Final Four since winning their last championship in 2010. Los Angeles dropped Game 1 against both Portland and Houston before winning the next four games. The Lakers quickly knocked off any rust for another long layoff in the bubble against a Denver team that's had things much tougher. Murray and Nikola Jokic each scored 21 points for the Nuggets, playing in the conference final for the first time since the Lakers beat them in 2009. Denver overcame 3-1 deficits against Utah and the Clippers, becoming the first team to do that twice in a postseason. The Nuggets immediately fell behind again, digging themselves a big hole when Jokic and Murray each picked up three fouls in the first half that just got deeper in the second half. Davis scored 14 points in the first quarter, but the Nuggets shot nearly 64%, with Murray's three-pointer as time expired, giving them a 38-36 lead. Alex Caruso converted a three-point play to open the second and start a 17-1 run by the Lakers to start the period and make it 53-39 before the Nuggets made their first field goal after more than five minutes. The lead stayed right around there for the remainder of the half as the Lakers paraded to the foul line while Jokic, Murray and Paul Millsap went the bench with three fouls. Los Angeles shot a whopping 24 free throws in the period more baskets than either team made in the half and led 70-59 at the break. An 11-2 burst in the third blew it open at 92-71 and the Lakers cruised home. Before the game, Lakers coach Frank Vogel expressed surprise that Bucks star Giannis Antetokounmpo finished so far ahead of James in voting for the league MVP award, receiving 85 first-place votes to James' 16. No disrespect for Giannis, he had a great season, he's a great player, but what LeBron does for our team to me is unparalleled, Vogel said. To carry the threat of going for 40 at any point, but leading the league in assists and quarterbacking our defense and driving our team to as many wins as we've had and our playoff success, to me he's our MVP. But I understand how the voting goes and quite frankly our whole group, and I'm sure LeBron, would echo this is focused on something bigger than any individual accolades.